Alright, so, I didn't have a video ready ahead of time, so I just kind of had to throw this together. Turned out surprisingly well, I will say. And by ahead of time, I mean like a week in advance I did this, not the day before, mostly. Technically, it's the day before editing, but I recorded it ahead of time at least. But when I did this drawing, I just kind of googled art prompt, and my prompt was Wounded Warrior, so I have this guy just kind of sitting here in his class D's. Which, for those of you who don't know military stuff, it's, it's the camo uniform, but without the jacket. And without the hat. I'm not entirely sure what wound he suffered, honestly, but it's something on his arm. Probably a gunshot? I don't know. I feel like if you got shot, you might be doing more than just like fur furrowing your brow and biting your lip, but I don't know. I've never been shot. I will say I have regrets on how I handled that shoe. I should have just fixed it then and there. But I was like, nah, it's not going to be that serious of a drawing. It'll be fine. But it continued to bother me. At least doing the camo was easy because I got smart and it's like, hey, I'm on a computer. I can just add camo. Which, you couldn't really see it because my recording software is the thing where you see this window. This window is all you see. So even the pop-ups that come from this program you can't see. So you can't see my little menu thing with all my textures that I can drop in. So it just kind of appeared out of nowhere. I promise it had an origin. I forever love the fact that I just have a brush titled Blood, because I draw things that are bloody that often. Also, I messed up on my layers. So when I tried to darken the background, it just darkened everything and I had to redo the white. Because I decided I did not like the gray and red splotches, it was gross. And look, I'm fixing the shoe. Finally. And there we have it.